Traveling the world on an endless adventure, we set out on our journey. As a family of four, we look to explore other cultures, food, music, life, and whatever comes our way. We aspire to find the beauty and humanity of the world while being able to share a little with others. Come follow our journey. We are Jason, Lenka, Alex, and Mia. We are the family on the run. We have just packed up our stuff because we are leaving Istanbul. We're heading off to the airport to basically catch a seven and a half hour flight to Tanzania. We're arriving really early in the morning, so we know this is gonna be kind of a tough schedule with the kids, but we are super excited because we've never been before. I cannot believe it. Can you believe we are going to Africa? bought the adapters and now we're ready to go to the lounge and eat some food. So there's the entrance, we got stores, there's a cinema, resting area, dining hall, prayer rooms, Relaxation, pool tables, bar, terrace, business area, kids playroom. This is our lunch choice. You have salad, some chicken, meat, and rice, delicious soup. Is it good, Mimi? Mm -hmm. I yes. like this meat the most. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. So we are about one hour out from our flight to Tanzania. And we are so excited because we've never been to this area of the world. There's a lot of firsts that are actually happening on this trip. This is certainly our first time uh, to Sub-Saharan Africa. Yes. <laughs> and for Lenka, Alex, and Mia, this is their first time in the Southern Hemisphere. So being said, this is gonna be a lot of firsts and I think we may even have some adventures with some animals coming up. We are so excited and just giddy and nervous and all kinds of emotions together because this is just we are going to our first what's the number one animal you want to see uh, lion. what lion 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 too yeah i guess yeah i want to see a cheetah good I'll choice lion lion we got three lions and a cheetah yes So we are in our hotel in Dar es Salaam. We had a pretty late flight that got in about three, had a little bit of a delay at immigration. I think we didn't leave the airport till about four, got into hotel about five, and it's now about eight o'clock or so in the morning. So we've had a few hours of sleep and we're pretty tired, but this hotel has 
I was supposedly a really good breakfast. We are super starving, so we're gonna head down there. And then today, I think we have a really awesome plan of heading over to a little island that's supposed to be close to here. So we're gonna just dive right into it and start to explore Tanzania. Good morning again. Good morning. Then when you go outside these windows, We are at the really cool hotel called Azure on the beach in Dar es Salaam. When you go to breakfast, you always care how the coffee is going to taste, but here, the coffee is absolutely amazing. Some hard boiled eggs, some bread, soup, porridge. Look at the selection of sauces they have, it's amazing! So guys, we learned some things in Swahili language. Can you tell me what have you learned? How do you um, say hello? Si jambo. How do you say thank you? Um, asante. And how do you say you're welcome? Karibu. Karibu. Very good, guys. We are good to go. We just learned some interesting fact about this country. There actually used to be two countries. Uh, one was Tanganyika and the second one was Zanzibar. And they connected these two. That's why the word Tanzania came from. What are, you, what are you having? Pancakes. Pancakes. They're so good. There's a pancake with chocolate banana syrup. So we are off to go explore Mabudia Island. We have a boat coming soon to pick us up and we are excited to go see what this is going to be like. beautiful Buya Island it's only it was only about 15 minute boat ride from our beach resort and it is absolutely stunning you really would not have any idea where you are in the world this could be anywhere in Asia Maldives anywhere look at the water
would it be just fine, guys? This cool ginormous tree. It's huge. What does it remind you of? Um, the tree of life and Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, these trees are really beautiful. Where'd you find me? This. Ah, uh, you found a crab? Yes. What's his name? Fred. Fred. Fred? Yeah. That's a good name for him. So what's special about these types of crabs? That they have like little tiny shells that they pick out. So basically these like little crabs lose their shells and then they get new ones after. Mm -hmm. So this island, Mabudia, is unbelievable. I mean, it's, there's almost no people here, just some local people who will like help you with either like catching fish to make lunch or snorkeling gear, but other than that, this place is completely uninhabited. It's a park. It's so peaceful here. It's so beautiful. We're just literally spending the day just walking on the beach, white sand everywhere. I mean, it's, it's incredible. This place is absolutely incredible. It's so beautiful here. I can get enough of the warm water. It's so amazing. A lot of people, they think of Tanzania, of course, as like the safaris and the Serengeti and all those types of activities, but they don't remember that it's also like this. Yes. And this is pretty amazing. He was at first. You have a really cute friend. Yes. Hi. Hi. Do I have a little cute one? Hey, you're gonna you're gonna go. New favorite place on I this bet. island. It looks amazing. This How is a dancing square. Dancing. 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 dancing square. <laughs> nice. This is where you build your own castle or anything. Okay. And this. This over here, well, I don't know where the stick went, but you're supposed to put the stick on this, mm -hmm. and then you have to carry it all the way to this line over here. And if you drop it, then you lose. I do like this. Oh wow! Okay, hang on. Hold you. And it's a very strong stick. So our time on the Budya Island is up, and we are sad. But what an epic way to end our time here in Dar. And tomorrow we head off to another city.